Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, Jonas, I'm the man on the sticks. Yes, you and are. And we're continuing with our superhero series on Monster Hunter World. Superhero I, series. It I, looks no different to me. Well, I, all right, fine. You want me to look different? I'll look different, dude. What the hell? You want, you want different? I got you. <laughs> hold my, hold oh, my oh, beer. Hold, hold my beer. Hold you my want beer. Different? You want me to look different? Boom. I'm different. Boom. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hero, dude. This is what heroes look like. All right. Well, this is, this is a series where I run into low rank games with my super strong weapons, and I help people who have been having some difficulty with uh, some of their uh, level specific monsters. You're a sweetheart. You're out here saving people's lives, dude. I do. I, you know, not all heroes wear capes, Jonas. Yeah. Some of us wear boxer shorts on so the couch. Some of us have just have our balls out wait john wait <laughs> you don't have your balls out do you well you're the hero what are you talking about my balls for <laughs> no do you see either. something i don't see through my short leg do you hear what i hear <laughs> all right where am i going uh the mall. far dude i gotta go all the way over here on the other look it's clear on the other side literally as far away from you as oh wait where are you at right now yeah on the very as far away from as yeah. you could be yeah all right, so it's it's a little bit of a walk, but that's All right, good. That's cool, dude. Jonas, that's cool. who's older? Uh, the, what's the guy from Saturday Night Fever? John Travolta. John Travolta, or who's the guy who does Donald Trump for Saturday Night Live? Phil Hartman. No. <laughs> what? Who the hell is Phil Hartman? That's like thirty years ago. You ancient man. No, uh, the, the the Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. Who's older? Um, Just off the top of your head. I think Travolta's older. What do you think? I already know the answer to the question. Oh. And you were, you were right, actually. Okay. John Travolta is older than Alec Baldwin. But uh, why, first off, why do you know this? <laughs> it came up on a, on a program I was watching. They were like, man, who's older, John Travolta or Alec Baldwin? He left. Oh, he didn't even know what was coming. He was like, I'm not going to be able to he do it. He left, dude. Well, you know what? That's fine. <laughs> I guess I'll continue. Do you still that. get your money? I don't know. We'll see, dude. I've, I've never had anybody leave like that before. Does it show him how high level you are? Uh, I mean, it might. I mean, he maybe he got scurred that you were going to so come and... I am master rank 350 and high rank 523. If that is any gives you any idea, I think I watched you fight this boy back in one of our first episodes. I can see that. This guy used to give me some problems, man, but he's not gonna give me any Aww, problems. Oh, he's only got one more, dude. He reminds me of the monster from that movie, Little Monsters, with uh. Monsters, little Nicky. You ever see? You ever see Little Monsters? Dude, I wouldn't. Remember that. <laughs> that was like a trillion. Had the guy years from the ago. Wonder Years in it. Fred Savage. Yeah. That sounds familiar. Yeah, and there was like a piece of like going to his bed to the monster world, and there was like a blue monster that was coming out from Oh, and it looked like Little Nicky, right? Little Nicky is a devil from the Hamster in the movie. Yeah, but I just remember Little Nicky and the monster from Little Monsters uh, looking similar. Yeah, sure. He wore like a he wore like a Letterman jacket, right? The monster from Little. Mon That's from Monsters Inc. <laughs> I don't know what Monsters Inc. I, is. I don't know the Disney movie. Also, anyways, that was a bad... Uh, no one knows what that is. Do you ever remember that movie, The Wizard, the video game movie from when we were kids? Okay, well, now you're getting into my bag. Of course I remember The Wizard, dude. That, like, was such a, a, that was such a funny movie for its time. Video game boy. And they, like, they go to the championships at the World Nintendo World Championships. <laughs> to play Mario 3. They're like, oh my god, they pulled out Mario 3! <laughs> and I remember the secret. I was like, oh my god, it works in the game. Dude, that was one of the first success, super successful video game movies. Oh, for sure. When I was a kid, I effing loved that movie. Oh my god. Yeah, like, that movie yeah. was just like, because it was a movie about video games. Like, video games were uber not mainstream back then. I don't know if that was the first movie to do it, but... It was one of, for sure. Yeah, because, I don't know, I feel like deep down, Tron was a video game movie. Eh, kind of, yeah. Because there was a game for it. Yeah. I mean, even like... Prior to the movie coming out, right? Yeah. What do you ever do? 
He's got black the black it's just like I've never seen a dragon dig into the ground like that. Because he's scared, dude. He knows I'm, I don't play games, dude. And he's like, this guy's not playing games. He's, he's like, not. I don't know how to... I, I came here to play games, dude. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Yeah. I could see it. I could see his dilemma. Yeah? What um? That's it? <laughs> All right, so like oh, that was that, that was literally like three minutes, right? <laughs> it was like five. Yeah. Minutes. All right. We'll do it. We can do another one. It's yeah. not a problem. Yeah, I was just like, wow, that one was quick. Yeah, well, yeah, because I didn't have anybody taking aggro or getting in my way or knocking me around or anything. Yeah, that was cool. I like this outfit too. It's What's your cool. favorite type of ramen? Um. Hmm. I do not like the beef or the chicken. I don't like beef either. The beef one tastes like like butt smell. Like butt smell. I'm not going to say that much. I won't eat the beef. Honestly, all right, we'll get back to the, if you take like a craft single, Joe, this, this is like real like poor people, like uh, <laughs> what do you call this, life hacks? Yeah. Take a craft single, break it up into tiny pieces and stir it into the beef ramen. Okay. Oh, Yo. beef ramen with a craft single? Yeah, but it's like it melts the cheese. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. And then you just basically, it's like macaroni and cheese. So fake cheese and beef taste end up tasting good together. Oh, well, okay. beef and cheese. Yeah, that's true. But if I, I'd have to say the creamy chicken is my favorite. Yeah, me too. Because I do like a nice cream oh, sauce. Oh, dude. Well, you know what's awesome about the creamy chicken what's is that? like you can like you cook it all, pour all the water out except for just a little bit of water. Leave just a touch, pour the, then pour the stuff in, and it's almost like a sauce. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Like, but it's like you have to get the right, right. ratio. It, it's it's like, hard. It's hard. It, to it is. <laughs> it's either too watery or you don't leave enough, and there's no cream. And I like, do like the chicken, basic chicken, a lot too, though. Yeah. Uh, uh, the shrimp is one of my favorite. I know shrimp like, is okay, but it doesn't taste like shrimp. No, I don't know it, what no, it's supposed it, to taste like. It doesn't like. taste like shrimp at all. But whatever the flavor is, is pretty good. Yeah. I bought one when I was at the store not long ago because I'd never seen it before. Soy sauce flavored. So salt. <laughs> and I was like, I love salt. <laughs> so salt. So, it's already mostly salt. <laughs> it's like salt noodles. It's like, hey, would you like salt flavored for your salt flavored noodles? I'm like, yeah, dude, I guess. But I'm like, why couldn't I just put soy sauce on it instead of a packet of powdered soy sauce? <laughs> because you need powdered salt, I guess. <laughs> so I figured I would try them. Yeah, that but, just uh, doesn't make sense to me. I had some ramen in the, in the pantry that had been in there so long they expired. <laughs> How does I was like, ramen expires? Everything expires eventually, right? But no. it was like, I bought them like when we first moved in here, and I went through like, like and looked at the, the stuff, and I was like, oh, this is expired like a year ago. Dude, I thought ramen was like astronaut food, and it just like never, <laughs> it never expired, dude. I figured like ancient. I have a feeling it would be okay, but since they cost like eight cents a piece, I'm okay with like get just replacing the eight, the five I had with five new ones. I figured like future cultures would come down to the planet and find ramen noodles and be like, this is what they must have eaten. <laughs> they, but they'd be like, what is this? <laughs> they wouldn't know how to put it together because they wouldn't read English. Yeah. And it's barely edible as it is. Did you ever like uh, take ramen noodles and break them up in the bag? Yeah. And then eat them like chips and oh, just like no. put the seasoning I, on I them? I broke them up in the bag and then cooked them so they were just like, they yeah. weren't big long noodles. So yeah. it was almost like a soup. No, My mom used to do that for me. She would break them up, not like completely, but she'd break, like, sometimes I'll break the thing in half so the noodles aren't so long. Yeah. Um, but my mom would crush them up and cook them and then, and then serve it to me with the broth and it would be like soup because it would be little noodles you nah, could eat with a spoon. I don't want to eat ramen flakes. Um, but, uh, I, yeah, I don't know. It was, I think it was Disco who taught me how to break them up in the bag into like little tiny like flakes. Yeah. And, and then, then put you the just, seasoning on them. And, and then, then you just them. shake it up in the bag, dude. Do you put, do you like spray any water in there to get them to like absorb, to stick mean, better? If you really want to, but it's stick, I mean, you know. So, oh, just, so, and then you just, just shake them. the bag up with the seasoning. You know what? That, and just eat them like I that. wonder how many calories that has. Compared to like, if you if, does it change the calorie content? I don't if know you, how much calories are in water. No, no, but sometimes if you see like a thing, it'll be like cooked and uncooked. Like if it's uncooked, it has like more calories. Yeah, but I don't think boiling food adds calories. But it could remove calories. That it could do. That's what I mean. Like it might have more calories. Like wait raw. a minute, I don't know. I feel like the food. And drug administration would be all over you if you were like taking calories off because you intended for people to cook your food. 
And yeah. Like, well, some things like if like if you see like some right, like yeah, popcorn just... has a uh, uh, unpopped and a popped calories. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Some some things have a different ca- uh, caloric amount depending on whether it's cooked. Who the or not. frick is out here eating uncooked popcorn? Well, right, That's the real out question. Out here eating uncooked ramen noodles. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just freaking yeah. But okay, yeah. So you know what? <laughs> All right, fine. You got me there. <laughs> But, I love how you were about to try to fight it, and then you were just like, yeah, yeah, you're right. yeah fine, <laughs> you're right. But yeah, I don't make a habit out of eating uncooked ramen yeah, noodles. Right. But well, right, this was also 15 <laughs> years ago, right? Uh, uncooked popcorn. Yeah, yeah, who just, I like eating the half-popped kernels, but not just raw kernels. Like just, it's like eating a gobstopper, but like not candy. Honestly, Jonas, I kind of feel like I'm, that, that's like a come up, man. Like, honestly, that's like that's like a tale of the time. The fact that I have not bought like a packet of ramen in like months. Dude. Yeah, years, like, I, I almost years. always keep ramen in, in my pantry just because like every so often they sound good and I like to eat a pack. And then I remember why I don't eat them all the time when I eat them. But I'm like, you know what? Disgusting. <laughs> dude, I think I've told you this before, but like you can get make like a gourmet ramen casserole. Wait, what? Yeah, dude. In it, I oh, used, you mean it's like add stuff to it? Well, I used to, like, I would get a pot pie and a pack of ramen. And I would, like, if you bake the, the pot pie in the oven, the crust gets all crunchy and all that. If you take the pot pie out of the little foil thing it comes in and you cook it in the microwave, uh, like, all the dough is soft. And then you, uh, you put it's uh, hot. So you put it in the ramen noodles and you stir it up and then it's like dumplings because the the and the, it's like little dumplings in there and then it has peas and chicken and it becomes a ramen noodle casserole and it costs you like well now probably like a dollar but back then it was like 57 cents because the pot pies were like 50 cents and the ramen was like seven just, cents it, I, I mean i get it dude ramen. oh and i was like a poor like 20 year old kid Ramen noodles can definitely be like the mirepoix for like any food you want to make. Yeah, that was like back in the days where I'd buy like the pound of ham and a loaf of bread, and then I'd oh buy like five five ramen noodles and five pot pies, and I would have like gourmet <laughs> gourmet ramen noodles. I haven't bought a loaf of bread in like dude. A I don't even eat bread years. anymore. You you have like that nasty potato crap in there, don't you? Potato bread? Yeah, man. I haven't bought bread in months. Okay. Yes. I've been put eating everything in those like spinach tortillas. Well, if anything, Jonas, you should feel glad that I'm not so much in your uh, <laughs> your, <laughs> your diet where I'm you're noticing like, what you're uh, eating. I was in there the other day and you had, yeah, I haven't had potato bread. And, oh my God. I just noticed that you used to get <laughs> potato bread and I used to be like, ew, that's disgusting. It was butter bread. Oh, even worse. <laughs> all right. On the next episode. <laughs> all right, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. You've already done that. Call your uncle over and teach him how to fold origami so then he can make you an origami pig for your birthday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> and TNT Dynamite, I <laughs> guess. Maybe. Are... Oh.